Justin Cardani, the Champagne native, takes the mat for Illinois against Liam Cronin in his first season at Nebraska, transferring from Indiana, ranked number nine in the country. Such an interesting matchup because Justin Cardani, off to a two and five start, has three wins over Cronin last year in the Indiana uniform when he was with the Hoosiers. Three and O last year, and yet Cronin, ranked ninth, really on fire, doing a great job, six and one record, and uh, obviously you would think he would be the favorite, but you know wrestling's about styles and matchups, and so we'll see what happens. Mike Cousins with Tim Johnson here on location at the State Farm Center in Champaign. TJ, it feels good just to say that to be in the same building. We're just a couple weeks away from conference tournaments and less than a month out from the NCAA tournament in St. Louis. You're so right. I mean, I'm just happy to be here. You know, it's a day, a week closer uh, to the conference championships and the NCAAs. We're close. We're close. I, I get emotional just thinking about it because uh, yeah, we just, we got to get there. And for these guys taking the mat, there's always a degree of emotion, but especially this season of living in isolation for the most part, going back to your room, being in the room or on the mat, and that's just about it. So it's Cardani in the blue and Cronin in the red for Nebraska. Both these guys, very tough. Uh, Cronin li really likes to work the head and the snaps. Cardani, a little more from space. Nice low shot. Like you said, Cardani 3-0 against Cronin last year when he was with Indiana, now transferred to Nebraska. Really a shot in the arm for the Huskers. Coach Manning really glad to have Cronin as the guy that gets the juices going for the Huskers. Cronin has been on a little bit of a tear as of late as well. He's only lost this year against Rayvon Foley, a 14-13 decision. And he's won five straight since then. Yeah, that was an interesting because he was down 7-1 in the first period, down 12-7 going into the last period, closed the gap to 14-13. to So he's got a gas tank, Cronin does. Jim Heffernan, the Illinois head coach, and talking about Cardani, said that at 25, and especially in this league as well, has wrestled everybody except for Iowa's Spencer Lee really close. Yeah, that was a nice shot by Cardano, and he did a nice job of getting right to his feet to get behind with the shin wizard there for Cronin trying to. What Cardano has to do is continue to uh, shelf that uh, ankle and come up, be able to extend and slip that arm out. Got to finish when you're in this tight. Elbow deep. Right there, he's got the two. two point nice eight, start eight, for Cardano, the champagne centennial. Grew up. The high school is just uh, probably five minutes from the State Farm Center Assembly Hall here. Just about three miles as the crow flies down Kirby Avenue to get to Centennial High School and here to the State Farm Center. So an early two-point lead for Cardani. Cronin cuts loose to make it 2-1. And that was the question coming in that the coaching staff had for Cardani was, he can get in on the shots, can he finish them? That's gonna be what separates him to finish those leg attacks a lot better. He has to feel where he uh, just uh, maybe left off last year, a sense of, I can do this against Cronin, and uh, was a really nice shot in there and finish uh, to uh, start the match. Yeah, Cardani this year, two and five, Picked up wins against Eric Barnett of Wisconsin, Brock Hudkins of Indiana. But last year, like you said, seven and two in Big Ten duels and qualified for the NCAA tournament as an at-large selection. Always usually a close match. And Cardani, kind of different uh, with Coach Heff. Coach Heff's known him since he was nine or 10 years old. Um, and from youth wrestling, etc. Cronin, just stepping into the Nebraska room and new to the whole culture there and has really fit in in a wonderful way but it's all new for him at nebraska and this is old hat for cardani feels really comfortable here won a couple of state championships in this building this building we should have just been cleaning up from uh, the state championships uh, that should have been held last night it's too bad a lot of state championships going on all over the nation but illinois will not hold high school state championships this year and this is the building that People, uh, guys like Cardani, they they are feeling really comfortable here when they've won a couple of championships and back being able to wrestle on the college map. Nice, really nice job of hip heisting out, getting his hip separation and out for one. Real quick out and uh, good uh, 
Good start for Cardani here. A spring-loaded start to the second. Gives him a 3-1 advantage. Working on the edge of the mat, and they're out 138 during the second period. Nice job there uh, on the sit out there, and the hips got separated, and really did a nice job of uh, legging over and getting out. Mark Manning happy to have Liam Cronin, ranked number nine in the country. Going through his roster, he said, you know, when I got into coaching, they said, you got to have a good heavyweight. You got to have somebody good at 118, now 125, as the classes have changed over the year. And this is not often where you get a guy who transfers and is immediately able and ready to slot in as not only a starter, but a high quality one. Been as high as ranked number two and three in the nation this year. And uh, really, this is where Cronin likes to be. He likes to be in, working the head, snaps, and the nice stop, uh, really nice job there by uh, Cardani. And if he can get both legs there and... Hey, Jamie, whoa. it's Tom Sox the zero. Stopped it and potentially dangerous Jamie George. And, uh, they had referee there. And so here's the push out and drop down to the low single. And I suppose he stopped it potentially dangerous because of the way he had the ankle turn. But uh, so far, this has been going Cardani's way. Cronin not be able to close the gap there and get in on the head and work that. Cardani getting out from under inside three or four seconds where Cronin likes to be on top, does a really nice job. And Cardani, Cardani not letting him have his way on top. Cardani worked it back toward the middle inside 10 seconds. They're locked together. And late action at the end of the period. Huge, huge win. That's what winners do. The best score at the end, at the edge. That could be the difference in this match. What a big takedown for Cronin. Fires back to even it up at three. If you're, you just can't let that happen if you're Cardani and the drive through by Cronin, great execution. Now Cronin in the driver's seat, getting the opportunity to go ahead and get to his feet, being ahead and putting the pressure back on Cardani. Cardani angling for the Mac return. And they're out just a few seconds into the third. Back to the same position, Cardani on top. TJ, what's the key here for Cronin? Well, he's just got to get uh, hip separation and um, hand control. And so far, um, now right here, Cardani has to move up. But so far, Cardani doing a nice job of uh, following and not uh, keeping his hips tight to Cronin. So Cronin has not been able to get both hip separation and hand control at the same time. It's an early lead for Cardani with a takedown. Cronin has worked his way back to even it up at three. Big, big five seconds right here. Big, big, and again, 59 seconds riding time. Cronin doing everything right at the right time to take the lead here. And no riding time difference. So Cardani gets taken down at the edge with less than a second left in the second period and Cronin gets out with less than a second left for riding time. So advantage Cronin right now. It's a, it's a match of almost for Cardani. He now almost isn't good enough. He's going to have to get this takedown. Got to get the impression here from the referee to maybe get a stall call, but it's, uh, Cronin has not been warned. Get the stalemate a minute 25. Cronin with the escape has made it 4-3 his advantage. This is uh, 
a signature uh, match for Cardani. He's, you'd think winning three times last year, but right now Cronin's showing that uh, he's the guy that feels like a winner this year, and uh, he uh, has done a great job of executing at the end, at the edge, in really important times here. And so right now, Cronin in the driver's seat, hasn't been warned. All he has to do is keep his good position, which he will. What a huge, huge win that it looks like Cronin's going to uh, have for Nebraska to begin this meet. Now he went down early, turned things around on Cardani, and gets the decision to start things off at 125. Liam Cronin, winner of six straight to close out his regular season.